The most important centaur in Greek mythology is the well-known Chiron. Famous for many skills, he was most known for his teaching ability. Born of the Titan Kronos and the nymph Pelira, leaves Chiron much different from the average centaur. One of his physical differences is that his front legs of his horse body were also human, showing he was different and of a higher class than the rest. He was also far more civilized than the other centaurs, whom indulged in drink and barbaric tendencies. He had superior knowledge, was a magician, healer, herbalist, prophet, and sorcerer. He had such fine knowledge of healing that he could restore eyesight to the blind and never lifts his hands in anger. He lived on Mount Pelion with his partner Nynth Chariklo, with whom he had three daughters and one son. There, his students included famous heroes and gods such as the following, Achilles, Theseus, Perseus, Hercules, Phoenix, Ajax, and Asclepius, the last being the god of medicine himself and the son of Apollo. One of them would bring on his certain doom, regardless he was immortal. Hercules is the most known hero that was taught by Chiron. Whom taught Hercules music? The demigod would accidentally hit Chiron in the head with a lyre, but this was little compared to how Hercules brought on Chiron's demise. One day Hercules had stopped to visit Pholos, another centaur. Thirsty, he persuaded Pholos to open a jar of wine. This small lured other centaurs to the cave where even Chiron was at, and a fight broke out between Hercules and the centaurs. Though Chiron had no part in the fight, he was accidentally wounded with a poison arrow by Hercules. Immortal and incapable of death, Chiron was left in agonizing pain. To relieve him from this, Zeus placed him in the heavens as a constellation Sagittarius. Chiron was no more physical, but amongst the stars. Another version of this was that another centaur was wounded by Hercules known as Eletus. He came to Chiron for healing but in the process Chiron pricked himself on the poison arrow instead. The second most famous centaur is Pholos. After Hercules completed his labor for the giant boar, Pholos offered Hercules food at his cave as a place to rest. Together they had a quiet drink from a gigantic wine-filled jar that belonged to all of the centaurs, and had been a special gift from Dionysus. However, this attracted all other centaurs. They began to get rowdy and started a fight with Hercules. Of course, they were no match for the great hero. Unfortunately, in the mayhem, Hercules accidentally poisoned Chiron. Pholos was also killed in the incident after dropping a poisoned arrow on his foot. And lastly, the third known centaur is Nessos. Nessos also had a bad run-in with Hercules, whom seems to be a centaur slayer from what these tales portray. Nessos, on the other hand, foolishly picked a fight with Hercules and kind of deserved what he got. The hero and his wife, Dianeria, attempted to cross the river, Envinus, on their way to Tyrans. Nessos saw this and offered to carry the girl across the water, but halfway across he molested his charge. Hercules swiftly fired one of his poison arrows at the centaur. Other accounts say that he threw a club or a sword. With his dying breath, Nesso tricked Hercules' wife by telling her to collect some of his blood, which was now poison, put it in a jar away from the sun, and use it as a love potion if Hercules' love should ever wane. Later on in the legends, it is said that Hercules had an affair with Io. In order to win his love back, Dianeria smeared a cloak with blood of Nessos. When he put the cloak on, he was driven mad with agony by the poison. In despair, Dianeria killed herself. Hercules threw himself on a funeral pyre to get rid of the pain, and thusly he was given a place at Mount Olympus, where he married Hebe, the goddess of youth. And those are the most famous centaurs. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what I have provided and would like to support this channel, check out my Patreon page, where I create videos on cryptids, abductions, serious killers, and much more. If you can't support me there, I provided a PayPal. Please like, comment, and subscribe here, and I'd like to thank my supporting Patreon thus far.